I think being a judge is maybe the best job in the world. I actually grew up on a family farm in Iowa. So when I was growing up, through high school really, there were really three different things that girls thought about doing. You could be a teacher, or you could be a nurse, or you could be a clerical worker. I had a short career as a teacher. The mid-60s were really an exciting time. The women's movement was going strong. The civil rights movement was going on. All of the changes that were happening, that were so exciting, seemed to be based upon things that were happening in the courts. And that's when I started seriously thinking again about going to law school. I was part of the class that was the first from which women were hired by the large private firms in Phoenix. Whatever we did, we tended to be the first woman who had done it. And that puts an extra stress on you because we knew that people generalized so that what we did would be taken as what, as some evidence or indication of how women as a whole would react. That happened actually during the year that I clerked for Justice O'Connor. I remember as if it were yesterday the first Monday in October when the court took its seats on the bench and she came out last, of course, as a junior justice, but sitting there and really having to work to control my tears because we finally had a woman on the United States Supreme Court. Diversity on the bench is important for so many reasons. First, we know that it makes a difference to people who appear in the courts if they see someone who looks like them. Um, they have more trust in the system. Courts become better as we get more diverse viewpoints in terms of gender and ethnicity and race and religion. It's really important that those voices are heard. When young women lawyers ask me about a career on the bench, I encourage it. How do you become a judge? How do you prepare to be a judge? Kinds of programs I think have been very useful. The other thing that I think we do to increase diversity is just Make sure that people keep thinking about it, bringing it to people's minds, making them aware of it, making certain that they understand the importance of diversity. Um, so a lot of it is just keeping it on the front burner and not assuming that because we have a few tokens here and there, we're all done and we can all rest on our laurels.